Hello everyone and welcome to our final week in ENGL 115 Introduction to Literature. Congratulations, you made it. You got through a number of short stories, a play called Proof, a novel called Winner's Bone, and some poems by Billy Collins. Congratulations, you've made it to the final week. This week's a little different. I'm going to remind you a few times during this video lecture. This week only goes until Friday. Everything for the class is due at the end of the day on Friday. Usually the weeks go until Sunday, but the semester actually ends on Friday. So the final reflection, the extra credit, or anything else that you're going to be submitting needs to be submitted by Friday. <laughs> All right, I hope that was a good reminder. I'll remind you at the end of the lecture, too. Um, this week we're really focused on one assignment and it's a final reflection. It's a personal piece of writing. Um, it's different than the theme essay that we did or the exam that we worked on. This is really all about you and your connections to what we've read. If you remember back in the first week we read an essay by Mario Vargas Llosa called Why Literature and in it he did his best to explain from his perspective why literature is important in a person's life. And he had a lot of, for me, great ideas um, about that about that topic. Um, one of my favorite quotes from that essay is right up here on the paper. Literature has been and will continue to be as long as it exists. One of the common denominators of human experience through which human beings may recognize themselves and converse with each other, no matter how different their professions, their life plans, their geographical and cultural locations, their personal circumstances. Now, focusing in on that idea, you're going to be constructing a personal reflection on the readings that we've written or we've read. What Losa is saying there is that through literature, we can see ourselves, we can recognize our professions, our families, our jobs, our circumstances, our settings. We can recognize things that happen in our life, in other characters, in other places, in other plots. And some of those reflections, some of those connections might be in characters that are very different from you on the surface. But underneath that, those characters and you feel the same um, ideas, same emotions, same things about the experiences you've gone through. So what you're really looking for here is just thinking back on your life and your experiences and then the characters and the settings and the plots that we've read throughout the semester. And where do you find those common denominators of human experience? where you can recognize yourself. That's what you're looking for. Usually students choose two or three works. They can be anything that we've read. They can be the short stories, they can be the novel, the play, even the poems. And what you're looking to do is take this quote as a springboard and describe what those connections were. If you don't want to get too personal, you certainly don't have to. You can paint these connections in broad strokes. Um, but I am looking for you to think about your own life and see where you found connections with the reading this semester. So some questions you can ask yourself are, what characters did you recognize yourself in? Uh, which characters did you enjoy your conversations with? What settings did you enjoy most? What specifically did you enjoy about them? And finally, which stories, which characters, or settings did you get a feeling of membership in that collective human experience across time and space? Which stories, characters, and settings did you see as a common denominator, a connection between you and the story itself? I'm looking for you to choose, I put three works here, but if you, you know, if you wanted to choose a novel or play one of the longer, which you certainly wouldn't need to do more than a couple, choose two to three works to discuss, use specific details, and this is um, one of the requirements. Talk about those connections, especially with the stories, or the settings, or the plots, or the characters. Um, and finally, use a couple quotes from those stories. We can use this assignment as one more practice on how to cite literature in something you're writing. So for that, of course, you're going to need the quote, you're going to need the author's name, and you're going to need the page number. I put an example um, in the notes as well on how to do that. That is the final reflection. And um, 
I look forward to reading these. This is a little less uh, of a serious of, a, of an assignment in terms of being a standard theme essay or a setting analysis, but it certainly asks you to reflect on what you read and which of these stories that you read you connect with. Again, your final, final, final reminder. Everything is due on Friday, the end of Friday. I can't accept anything after that. I have to get the grades published within 24 hours after the last day, so there's no time to look at things over the weekend. Everything should be turned in by Friday. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me this week, especially before Friday. Um, and I think with that, I just want to wish you all the best for the rest of the summer and the upcoming fall. If you're taking classes here at SMCC, uh, please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns about things. I've been teaching here for 16 years, so I have some knowledge that might be able to help. But I also recognize that we are in uncharted territory, and there's certainly going to be some uh, road bumps this fall that are not normal road bumps in a typical semester. Um, but I'm here, I'll be here, and you can always reach me by email. I appreciate all your efforts this semester. I appreciate all the work that you did. And I really do, from the bottom of my heart, wish you the best of, the, of luck going forward. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your ideas. And hopefully I will be seeing you all soon. Take care.